48 hours, humanity will be no more. Hey, Mila here. Need a little help getting up to speed for Resident Evil, the final chapter? I got you. So I wake up naked with no memories, the usual, to discover I'm a badass security officer for an evil bioweapon company, the Umbrella Corporation. You're all going to die down here. And it only gets better from there. I'm trying to stop the T-Virus from escaping and turning everybody into zombies. Scientists, doggies, and Michelle Rodriguez. In an attempt to control the zombie apocalypse, Umbrella snuffs out all of Raccoon City, but not before Daenerys' lapdog turns me into Project Alice, which isn't so bad because now I can control stuff with my mind. I take a break from wandering in the desert to team up with Claire and her band of ragtag survivors. We battle a murder of murder pros and whatever these things are. Oh, and Carlos is there, so we finally cozy up. Sir Stalker has been busy cloning me, so I Game of Thrones his ass before taking my squad to check in on Umbrella Tokyo, where me, and me, and me, kick some serious glass. I book it to Alaska, except nobody is there but Claire, and thanks to her new evil mind control pacemaker, she is batshit crazy. I don't even know my name. So we hop in my plane and crash a roof party in LA, where we prison break Claire's brother and have a three-way in the showers with an ax man. That can't feel good. Then I give Wesker a piece of my mind. I mean his. My old pal Jill Valentine shows up, all mind controlled and blonde. She turns me over to Umbrella Headquarters, where I have to fight my way through a maze of simulations populated by clones of my dead besties, even Michelle. Worse yet, I become a mother and have to explain where baby clones come from. After that, me and a bunch of frenemies head to Washington to fend off the million zombie march. But that turned out to be the biggest trap of all. Which brings us to now. So join me in theaters for Resident Evil, the final chapter, as we head back into the hive. Because sometimes it takes going back to the beginning to find the end.